here we go, the gang's all here. More or less. How'd you know I was here? I'm stealthy. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Nothing to say to me, Caligus? Nor you? Nazi, you want to talk to me? Okay. Cool. Wait, Karen also talked to me. It has become clear to me that there is more to tear than I or the aspects know. We must prioritize this awakening. That sounds more like, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 11 to me. But I guess you can't help it. No, I know what our final meeting is. I did it last week in um, time walking. Um, <laughs> end times. Anyway, silver medal. I believe the silver scale may still be of some use to us. During my observations, I felt an energy in it that transcends time and seems to be attuned to tear. It also has the same architecture as the disc. The disc we didn't get to recover? Okay. It stands to reason that we may use the silver scale to collect one of Tyr's memories that he did not commit to the disc. Though it seems macabre, going to his tomb in Tyr's fall may allow us to at least partially restore him. Alex Strasser can tell you more, Leia. Venture into the tomb of Tyr with the aid of the aspects. All right, <laughs> why not? I get some flight stones. So Tyr's Fall is named after Tyr, so the Tyr in Tyr's Fall comes from, even though it's not spelled T-Y-R. Tyr's hand, all of that. If you didn't know that, you do. But that's Tyr's Fall is where he fell. Um, fighting, um, A, a, an old god lieutenant or void tenant, um, like a faceless, giant faceless one. That's where the corruption tier as well comes from. Anyway, why it's so the way it is. <laughs> that was a, and a combination of the scourge as well, I think. But yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, accept. I, I am accepting. I don't know, did Kalik hear me complain about all the times he wouldn't give me a portal? <laughs> so he's been very generous with these portals lately. Well, first I gotta talk to everybody. Can't speed me on my way if I don't want to be sped. Okay, no one wants to talk to me. Fine, fine, fine. Whichever as fall it is.
I totally forgot. This is where you go for one of the um, Legion artifacts. I think Zalatath was here. The blade, also. The void being those trapped in the blade, also. <laughs> I think they were used to open up um, Zalatath's carapus in uh, the raid. Irathium. That blade. Your pre artifact weapon. But there was also another one, I think. I think even the um, one of the paladin quests was in here as well. So it holds relevance to both. Anyway, um, yeah, Tears Tomb. Um, I've been here before on other tunes. Never Arleia, though. I don't think Arleia ever had to go here. Approach Travard. I like how Karanos kneels down. But it's rude for me to be standing up here so tall. I'll come down here to your level. Okay. Let's be Oh, cool. I have questions I can ask. I like that there's lots of options to engage dialogue in this in this expansion. I don't remember there being quite this much. It's been a long time since another person has visited Tears Tomb. A few years ago. <laughs> My vigil is to guard guard is to there's something I I'm I don't know if I'm just reading this wrong, whatever. My vigil is to guard I guess the shouldn't be there. Should guard both Tears Tomb and the side of Tears Guard of Tears Guard's final battle. What happened to Tears Guard? I am the last of Tears Guard. My comrades fell defending me from Mordoth the Hunter during our mission to find Tears Silver Hand. When I learned the tomb had not collapsed completely, the least I could do was stand vigil here. The paladins of the Silver Hand, the Silver Hand still remain, but after I am gone, Tears Guard will be no more understand by the way this tomb is located underwater <laughs> if i recall correctly so it was nice of kelly to like not be like go find your way over there into what's still essentially horde territory and then go underwater and swim be like oh yeah right i got a portal here i'll help you out understand what are you doing here this is where my charge charges and tears guard met their end. I stand vigil over their final resting place and that of tears. Even though the tomb has been seized that machines of Titan make, I will not leave here until the tomb is destroyed. Or I have reason to take up another cause. Well he might be nice to take up you know, these causes, I don't know.
I guess Karanos is waiting on me, huh? Been around a long time. Don't want him hurting his knees. Let's place his mind into Tears legacy. We must proceed with caution and reverence. Cool. Karanos, I like you, but... Reaching the tomb. Something recently activated the tomb's Titan defense system. I had not seen Titan constructs here before. I was investigating why they appeared when I was locked out of the tomb. Perhaps your mission awakened them. Should we intend to venture forth? We must disarm the new defenses. The glowing orbs flanking the doors might might be the key. If only they weren't damaged. Disable the Titan orbs at the entrance of the tomb. Here, just take care of these. That was quick. But I want to look around. Oh. I remember this from the from Lee Jim. I hated this room. Also, I, I have an idea of what might need to be expected. And people are fighting something I can't see. Oh no, they're fighting the the golems. Your mission has renewed my faith. Now what must we do to restore Tyr? Give me a second, I'm talking to people. Complete quest. Excuse me. <laughs> the remnants of Tyr. As the Stormo could sense power lingering in the scale, I could sense Tyr here. It is in the very stones of this place. I suspect the other constructs can sense it as well. Sense it as well. They must have come here when Tyr was forged. Don't mind me. <laughs> we must be on the right track. If something of his presence still remains, the scale should, should, should still be able to gather it with the help of this council. But the constructs may, inf but the constructs may interpret our collection of Tyr's last memories as us trying to destroy them. Keep them away if they awaken. <laughs> Apparently they're going to awaken. I have a hunch. Um... Defend Watcher Karanos from the constructs in the tomb. <laughs> oh no! Are you? Do you think they're going to awaken? see what I'm hitting, but I need to... <sighs> now I'm out of poison. <laughs> Alright. 
Sorry, just let me put poison on my blaze, okay? Please give me one last hug. Oh, buddy. I didn't want to hurt you. But you were trying to kill me. Alright. Nothing to say, Trevard? The task was too great for this aged consul, but our persistence has been rewarded. The scale has something, but I am not sure what. I am uncertain I wish to return to Alexstrasza with just something. The scale could contain nonsense corrupted by the consul's failure, or it could be what we need. Perhaps another consul could verify its contents? Sure. I do not enjoy seeing others forged by tear disabled. They went through such effort to keep the tomb col keep the tomb collapse they keep the tomb from collapsing and now it will languish devoid of even what's left of tears light Karen was gestures to the silver scale I hope whatever is in the scale is worth their destruction let us find another consul to see what if anything is on the scale escape to the dark walk oh god that's you did fight voidies while you were here You did have to fight voidies coming out. There was a big voidie. Yeah, I... That's a sign that there's going to be more more fighting that happens. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'll take that in a second. The monster that attacked Tears guard may still be lurking. We must stay vigilant for as long as we remain here. Oh, I hope we don't run into it. This console will allow us to examine the scale's contents, but I do not know what we will find. The other Titan serpents here should leave us alone. Accessing it should not be as disruptive as transferring what we sensed of Tear. Something is making Trevor uneasy. Be prepared for anything, Arlea. Place the silver scale on the console. When you're ready to proceed, press this console when you're ready to proceed. Use the Titan's console to witness Tyr's final memories. Apparently I'm going to use that at some point. He talks to me. console is identical to the one found around Tear Hold. It looks as if it is newer than the one in the upper tomb or has been repaired. Hmm. Okay. Place a silver scale on the console. Alright. I'm going to go mute for this. Okay, this is cool. I'm Tyr. <laughs> I got a big hammer. And a glorious mustache. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, uh, clearly I'm going to be using Tyr and his mighty hammer to, um, to do paladin -y type stuff. <laughs> Truth go get. Let's see what we got. We've got deliverance, lash out at your enemies, dealing radiant damage to all enemies. Been 25. Okay. 
its instant. Truth guard, unleash your might, striking all enemies up to 30 yards in front of you for significant holy damage. Light of Tear, rally the very cool and the full might of the titans, healing them fully. fully. Okay, so my third one's a heal. Damn, okay. Well, we're... So yeah, it, they're, they are where I thought we were going. So these are the very cool. I guess I have to rally them. Oh look, he, they all come to me. Yay, I'm too. I'm tear. As you can see, there are definitely voidy things, faceless ones. There's faceless. Faceless fighting Vrykul. So this was a long time ago, obviously. Oh, okay. There they appear in one of the books. They also appear, in, I think, in a flashback or two. Arcadius and Ionia. Whoops. I can't talk to them now. Old God forces defeated. So yeah. I like how Tears got my voice when he's out of range. <laughs> I'm out of range. Sometimes I'm Tear, sometimes I'm a Night Elf. Don't mind me. Okay, so I have to fight Kithix. So I have to go over by them again. But I'm having fun. I want to beat the tentacles up. Okay. What is... I'm too big for the trees. Yeah, they are. Okay. So some old gaudy goodness, as you can see. Ugh. Yay, all gods. <laughs> Void shit. I don't even have Kithix selected.
That was so important. They had to show you it twice. Um, so yeah, if you did, oh God, I'm in a scenario. Where is my adventure guide? Here we go. If you did, Oldman Legacy of Tear. You go in there specifically to find the Dissident Organon. Um, you aren't able to. One of the Infinite Flight steals him. He's the final boss, but he gets away with it. Um, Quentin Lodius. This is clearly leading up to, especially since Nosdarm was almost like, hey, come over here. I got a new quest for you. Clearly leading into um, the next patch. So this is going to be interesting. I don't. I don't know where this is going. I don't. I. I have no idea. I only saw the most I saw was this quest was data mined. Um, initially, when it was reported, I, I think on my own head, um, it was data mined that someone had seen it in there, including foot. I didn't see it. Supposedly there was footage, but I didn't. I didn't look at it that. And then like a couple hours later today, I mean I only saw it today. I saw the thing that it was going to be in here today. Um, it said that it's on and I didn't bother reading any more into it other than uh, you find out a little bit about Cheers history which isn't shocking isn't a spoiler you would assume it had something to do with it, it was either his, his, his history definitely was going to play into whatever thing was coming next but I'm glad to see us go back to here because it was like so about those discs we didn't get <laughs> now what so all right Time to kill more old god forces. <laughs> there are no old gods in Dragonfly. <laughs> there are old gods in Dragonfly. They're just not. Though that does remind me of something, and this is a, this is a bit of a spoiler. So, I, I'm going to be killing these for a while, apparently. Because I can't seem to aim at them right. Why is this one taking longer than everything else a day? Um, oh, that's a rifle. Come here. I'm going to get you. So. It's not that much. If you haven't seen the ending video of that looks almost like a Jardin. Huh. That's interesting. So, um, after the Sarkarath battle in Abras, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> haven't done the fight yet. Um, very close to it. But not so much a spoiler, just kind of like... A few folks have mentioned on how no one mentions... I'm not even going to go into where, but there's a, this can come into place. The voidy or old goth, goddy, I say old goth, old goddy, goddy presence and obvious signs of them that are so strong there. Uh, That's an epic battle. I'm going to build up to that because I still have to kill some more stuff. So, and I'm hoping that we do go into that again because while I dis disagree with tears last day, we're going to take a little break. While I disagree with a lot of the criticism about this patch and the storytelling and the choices made, there is one thing I do agree on. And like yeah. The arguments that have been is like why is why is Rathian so concerned about being aspect? I don't think he was ever concerned about being in charge so much as keeping Sibelian from being in charge. Um, and that he felt he earned it somewhat, but I don't think sitting on 
sitting up there, he'd be bored out of his fucking mind. So <laughs> I don't think that was ever, he didn't have it. He didn't desire for this, like, because like, it's my legacy. I must, well, I said legacy a lot, but like it, I don't think that part was as important, the aspect part. It just seemed to be, if you're going to do that, steer the flight into the future, that's what you had to add on him. Anyway, back to this tier <laughs> and Zakaj. Um, yeah, this is the story of, of Tears Fall, um, which is where Tears Fall uh, gets its name from. Uh, so uh, clearly this is not a surprise of what's about to happen, but you do get to play out a historical event. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, a classic story, but here's the thing. Is this the story as it was passed down? Is that story 100% accurate? That's what I want to see. I could be wrong. It could be completely as it's told and passed down and nothing changed. It's just a cool bit of history, you know, reliving, reliving history. But we're about to find out. I'm so excited because this is really cool to do this. I'm standing stream markers because I go on my little tangent about <laughs> things. Oh, look. Aw. Titan Keeper's Righteousness, damage, movement, speed, and health regeneration are all greatly increased. Oh, he's getting attacked. <laughs> I'll be with you in a second, Zakaj, for our legendary battle. I just gotta deal with some of your other things going on here. <sighs> Yuckies respawned. That's what happened. Alright, let's go for it. He's being attacked. There's Neltharian, Malagos, Neltharian. I'm going to die soon. Um, oh my god, I'm being <laughs> mauled by dragons. What's going on? Um, Malagos. There's Neltharian. Hi. Oh, I have to defeat him. Okay, cool. <laughs> I still got this horrific aberration. I mean, y'all are too big. Okay, Neltharian and Malagos. Neltharian. They're hard to kill. I mean, they should be. Ooh. So Neltharian death winged it out. He changed form during the battle. Interesting. I'm trying to beat them. Malagos is I mean, these are visions. Clearly. Nosdormu! Ysera. 
Oh, he's making all of them come at me. Okay. Well, clearly we know who the last one's going to be. So he became no he became Murazon basically right in front of my face. Cool. That's cool. I'm sure everything's fine. Boo, they did corrupt into Sarah. Oh shit. Now I'm fighting. So basically, this this fucker is saying, "Yeah, you want to create them so badly? Look what ends up happening." No storm. I wonder if no storm being last is on purpose. Oh, okay. I was like, please don't let him die by no storm. Fuck. No, no. Make it worse. Why is he posing as Alex Straza? Why are you running away from me? Oh, that's not good. Okay, good. I'm glad they refilled this out because I was. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna keep going through this. Um, I will have comments after. I, you know, kudos for for uh, for while keeping it um, for Blizzard keeping this quiet. Like, I this is not spoiled for me at all. I mean, I would have had to really such nobility even in his final moments. Akaj used the dragons to taunt him, but did Tyr really know? They would betray them? Will I Straza? 
This would be a great blow to them. If tear cannot be raised, perhaps it is something they need not know. Need to, they do need they may perhaps it's not something they need to know. Tear's final memories are in our hands. This is not a responsibility to be taken lightly. Let us take the silver scale to Nostarma in Tearhold. We will attempt to use the consul there to awaken him if he is whole again. There will be much to discuss. Escape the tomb and return to the aspects in Valdrak. Oh, <laughs> you should get a toy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And that's when you use the disc that I kept seeing people go on and disappear. <laughs> Not right now, Karanos. I have to go over here by Karanos. <laughs> I got a bad feeling. Callie, you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to me. Let me talk to you. To have seen Tears' memories, to see him now standing before me. I have a new purpose now. What do you mean? As the last member of Tears' guard, my purpose is to now assist the aspects in resurrecting Tear. I will first go to regroup with the Silver Hand. As followers of Tyr, they will want to help. My new vigil, if the aspects will allow it, will be to guard Tyr's new form and be ready to assist again if they try to bring him to life again. I think this dialogue was meant for after this. Good luck, Travard. But anyway, let's proceed. Nazi. We'll do whatever it takes for us. Karanos. Karanos. It has been clear that there is more to this, but we must prioritize this awakening. Oh, just... Alright. I don't know. The council searches the energy. It awaits your command. Thank you, Arlea. I am disappointed that the silver skill was not the answer. It seemed like a long shot, to be honest, but you know, you big old dragon. Thought you might know more than me. I am not still without hope. I, mean, I am not still without hope we may find the disc and restore a tear. 
and some part of me believes that we may defeat the infinites and the incarnates on our own. But some paths, however dark, are fated to be tread. Keep saying that. But so I'm not going to mention what we just saw, because yeah, Karanos had that idea. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> I think you should all know about that. Seems important. Saying. Your constant optimism is starting to get on my nerves, Alex Strauss, and I like you. <laughs> I know you want to talk to me, but... Yeah, I, the dialogue he had before I put activated the scale was meant for after this point. So now he's just there with his hand out like, hey. Oh, well. It's like when we have, just don't have a completion, but we have questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, considering the mild, I don't know, rant, um, thing I went on right before the battle part where you saw everyone that got corrupted. Maybe that was the answer to what I was mentioning. Um, yeah. Still someone should have brought up the, the obvious void stuff that was going on Everest, but <laughs> more prominently. But now I'm starting to wonder if that's going to weave into what we just saw. So, interesting. I'm not going to say much more if you, know, you catch us at the end of, of the stream, just in case. Go do this quest. Um, tends to uh, raise more questions than it answers. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, hmm. So what I'm going to do is from here. Oh, should I try to fly into Abris directly? How far am I from one of those? Too far. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go to Valdraken. 